Hello, hi, welcome back. Uh, we, we, yeah, I just came back from the political meeting, so uh, let's continue with this, okay? Uh, because uh, night is that young, it's like what nine o'clock, I guess. Uh, so, fortunately, we had enough time. Before we, we left, um, yeah, we we got all covered, all this miscellaneous stuff, non-economic stuff. Okay, Poli mostly politics. Good, good, that's good. So now we go back to uh, this economics. Okay. So yeah, I don't think we need to erase this, any of this, okay? Because um, we didn't talk enough, we didn't spend enough time last night, okay? I think we started talking about this last night and it's not too crowded. I mean, yeah, we can erase this idealism stuff because it's we just talked about this for fun, right? <coughs> so other than that, it's not too crowded of whiteboard so we are we are, we are going to just keep this picture as it is okay uh, i mean sorry it's, it's not i mean i i like the coloring I, I don't you think it's kind of pretty picture don't you think it's kind of good looking picture uh At least I think coloring looks very pretty. So we keep this, okay? So uh but can you see everything? Can you? Is it too far away? Probably, right? Okay. We get nice and close, okay? Nice and cozy. Oh this tripod walk. Ugh. Ugh. How how about now? Can you see everything? You don't have to see my face, right? So, okay, I think it should be good enough. All right, so okay, so let's re resume. All right. So basically, uh, here we have by now traditional. Transactional demand curve, okay? That's what we have. Transactional demand curve, okay? Here. Now, to recap, what is transactional demand curve? All right. You fix the cost the same, okay? Here, yeah, fix the cost the same, the food quality of your pasta, same. <laughs> same quality of pasta, same quality of same material, same lab, labor, same time to make it. Okay, the same recipe, everything. Costa, I mean, cost of this pasta stay the same, okay? And you're experimenting with price only. <coughs> and you find out <coughs> that uh, because <coughs> at a given point of time, okay, Fixed number of people desires your pasta. We call it volitional demand. Volition, desire, wanting. Okay? Yeah, fixed number of people want your pasta. But, and at the beginning, yeah, you're in a promotional stage, so <clears throat> you're giving away your pasta for free. Why? At the beginning of your business, pasta business, you made pasta, you invited your friends and families your relatives, will not neighbors, and you give pasta for free. You cook for them. Because they are your friends and family, right? They love your pasta. So, now you are gradually, gradually, you start to, so that's 
you, you lose the cost per pasta, right? Because your price is zero, you're giving for free. So you took $10 to make this pasta and you, you, you're giving it for free, so you lose $10 per, per every pasta dish you, you give away, right? Because people now love your pasta, now you start to charge them a little. You're experimenting with price, okay? You charge them $1 per pasta. So every pasta you, you sell for $1, you're losing $9, right? Why? Because profit, I mean, price 1, cost 10, 1 minus 10, negative 9. That's your profit margin or your uh, loss, your marginal loss, your per pasta loss, okay? That's what margin means, okay? Margin is per product, okay? What's the opposite of that? Like total, total, total profit, like, or net profit, okay? Net meaning, yeah, it's kind of like total, okay? Okay? You sell 10 pastas, what's the net loss? Not minus $90, okay? So $90 loss because you, you lose $9 per pasta, okay? And you keep increasing price, now uh, the uh, price is equal to the cost. Then <clears throat> you, it's neither loss nor uh, profit. It's a break-even point, okay? <clears throat> but de transactional demand start to decrease, I mean, always, always, from price zero, okay? Less and less, less people actually purchase. So there is less and less transaction, okay? And um, when it's free, it's still transaction, okay? It's just the price is number, price is zero, okay? It's, it's still transaction. So, yeah, transaction go down and when your pasta price hit a certain point, like we call it P max, okay? or ma maximum margin per pasta, okay? Beyond that point, nobody buys it, okay? So it's a transactional demand curve. Volitional demand curve, it was fixed in this scenario, but we are now looking at a different scenario where now the variable is the volitional demand, okay? How do you increase volitional demand? Well, it's kind of easy, right? Volitional demand is now in the y-axis, okay? And you just increase the quality, okay? Here you have cost is about equal to price and they will uh, kind of equal to, approximately equal to quality, okay? I mean, cost and price is just difference from here to here, okay? The higher the cost is, yeah, price will be higher, okay? <laughs> yeah, they're always like kind of proportional to each other and quality same, okay? But, actually not exactly, okay? So, we have this uh, nice relationship between cost and price, right? Now, we're gonna erase everything and we'll dive deep into this volitional demand jungle, okay? We forget about all this transactional demand curve for now. Because eventually we want to find some kind of interrelationship between uh, transactional demand and volitional demand, okay? We, we still, I mean, we already kind of know, right? But we want to know more about it, okay? But the step before that interrelationship between two kinds of demand curves, uh, we need to understand more about uh, volitional demand. Okay? One step at a time, all right? So, now, let's get back. Okay? We're gonna talk a little before we start writing down anything, okay? So, it goes like this, all right? Um, when I was a computer programmer, okay, uh,
I mean, I, I, I would say uh, basically I programmed in the like, Visual Basic, right? Or C Sharp. Yeah, Microsoft Visual Studio, okay? Just like most comp many, many computer programmers out there. It's a bread and butter, right? Although, of course, I never eat butter. Do I eat bread? Yeah. I don't eat butter. Okay. So, Microsoft product was optimal about 10 years ago. Okay, this uh, Visual Studio was optimal 10 years ago. Possibly even Microsoft Word was optimal 10 years ago. But they keep messing with it. So product quality actually goes down beyond a certain point as you put more and more cost into it. Okay? Adobe Acrobat, Adobe uh, Acrobat, same. It was optimal, it was the best Adobe Acrobat PDF reader about 10 years ago, maybe five years ago, perhaps. From then on, product quality start to go down because they keep messing with it. <laughs> Why? Because they're freaking workaholics, man, these fucking idiots. Ah. I mean, these companies, there's Microsoft, Adobe, they keep making money, right? So, and the product is ideal, optimal, they don't have to do anything, but they are workaholics. So, oh, I'm making all this money, so I kind of feel guilty about not working. So what do I do? I make it worse. I start, I start to destroy it, make it a lot worse. That's, it's not just Microsoft, it's not just uh, Adobe. Uh, many industries are like that, okay? If not most, all right? Then what should they do? They should just lay off people or they should just, just pay them for maintaining and they shouldn't require those employees to work that much when there's no work. Because many companies and governmental agencies, they're always like this, right? They just hate to see their employees being idle. So what do they do? Let make them do? All these bosses, employers, they come up with some bogus, phony projects that make the product worse. <laughs> it's sad. Okay, so they start to destroy this beautiful product their predecessors came up with. They start to destroy, destroy it. Okay? And it's not just in business. It's in civilization as well. Look at America. Probably America, the height, the apex, the summit of America was probably in 1990s maybe. Okay? From ever since then on, America started to destroy itself. Gay marriage. Legalization of marijuana, LGBT, transgender, tattoos, piercings. America is starting to, starting to destroy itself. Plastic surgeries, obesity, right? It all started around 1990 or 2000s and early 2000s or about 10 years ago, 20 years ago. Okay, this. America started to destroy itself. After it reached the summit. It's like you go uphill, then it's downhill. You don't stay on top. Okay. It's sad. It's really sad to see civilization, human civilization, destroying itself. And I'm doing everything I can to prevent that. The self-destruction of humanity. That's why I'm running for president of the United States, in order to put a stop on all this mass suicide, mass suicidal act, self-destructive behavior that America and also the West is currently working towards. Middle East, same way, okay? Yeah, humanity is destroying itself. Okay. I want to put up stop on all this, and I can. All right. 
that's why I'm running for president, all right? Because uh, it makes me sleep at night because I know I'm doing everything I can to save humanity, okay? I'm running for president and I will never stop running until I get elected or I die, all right? I will never stop running for president. I'm not going to run for any local government level because it's just not good enough for me and it doesn't make enough money for me to make a living okay because I don't have secondary income I don't have rich parents rich inheritance I don't have that I don't have I, I'm just nine to five kind of guy okay so yeah local government job I, I just can't do it financially okay and um, also it's not exciting enough for me okay it's too small all right I run for something very big, okay? So, yeah. Don't even get me started on politics. Oh, boy. Okay, so, product quality is like this, okay? All right, for, you have po cost equation, right? Cost, uh, price, well, cost is kind of at the center stage, so. You can I see that? No? Can you? What did I write? Oh, okay. Cost is equal to price minus profit margin, okay? Price is $15, profit margin $5. Yeah, then pasta cost is $10 to make, right? So it's very simple equation here. But in terms of quality of a food, it goes like this, okay? Now, you have, you're increasing the cost. Here, cost is zero, okay? Now you have quality, quality, okay? Not quantity, but quality, okay? So, as you increase the cost, Probably it'll be like this, okay? And then this. Yeah, like S curve, largest curve, okay? It, it kind of reach the plateau. No matter how much you increase the cost, you're not going to increase the quality very much. And then you keep increasing more, you put more and more investment money, you keep messing with it, and the quality will actually start to go down, okay? When you paint something or sculpt something, are you a sculptor, painter, or musician, composer, or filmmaker, movie maker, editor? It's always like, always like this. You reach an optimal point of your product, your movie, your, pect your picture, your painting, your whatever, your product that you sell something that you produce you reach an optimal point and beyond that the quality of this product starts to go down why first of all do you agree with me if you do why why do they why do they go down the product quality as you put more time more money to it why do they go down why does the quality degrade from this optimal point? Tell me. I give you like 20 seconds. Sure, 30 seconds. <coughs> it's all a bit philosophical question or humanological question <clears throat> okay very more qualitative question instead of quantitative question because we are dealing with quality okay so uh, it's not a mathematical question okay it's not quantitative but qualitative question here, okay so By the way, I'm not sure how many of you can understand my English. Americans 
maybe if they are like Asian American, maybe, maybe if they, especially if they are Korean American, probably they will understand my English. If they are Koreans who know English, probably they will understand my, my English. But if they are like born and raised like all American, maybe about half of them will understand what I'm saying. If somebody is living in some foreign countries like Mexico and they happen to know English, will they understand my English with Korean accent, not Mexican accent? Maybe about 20% will understand my English. Ah, but yeah, then turn on the caption because this software that, that YouTube has, this automatic translation software, it reads my English very well. It picks up my English very well, so probably because it's an adaptive algorithm that they are using, like neural network, you know, artificial intelligence. All these language recognition programs are kind of artificial intelligence, some kind of artificial intelligence um, algorithm. That's what they use for all these language related pattern recognition kind of stuff. Yeah, it's mostly based on uh, artificial intelligence technique and we cover too, neural network and a little bit of support vector motion, okay? Because I don't know too much about support vector motion, okay? It gets kind of technical there, so. So, yeah. Um, yeah, language recognition, like voice recognition, this uh, translation programs, or optical character recognition, like OCR. Yeah, those are probably mostly, most likely based on artificial, some version of artificial intelligence uh, algorithm. Okay. Which is very cool. Very cool. Yes, yeah, recognizing patterns. Okay. So, what's your answer? Hmm? Well, one way to look at it is, I mean, Philosophically, by definition, it's optimal, right? Yeah, so it cannot go higher, so if there should be some change, it will go down, okay? And people won't change, right? Why? Because they get, things get old. They get fed up with stuff, okay? Yeah, people want changes. So if it's so good and you cannot go higher than this, the only change that can happen is going down, worse quality, okay? Because you want some change, but you cannot go up, so the only way to change quality is to go down. Tattoos, piercings, legalization of marijuana, gay marriage, transgender surgery, plastic surgery, and obesity. Yeah, America, right? America is going down. I want to put a stop on this, okay? That's why I'm, I keep saying this, because I want to put a stop on America killing itself like that, destroying itself like that, okay? Ultra interracialism, right? <sighs> Horrible. Okay, so, uh, yeah, there's philosophical, philosophical analysis and humanological analysis is this. You keep working on the same product over and over again. And now, yeah, initially it was very fun. So the quality level was kind of, quality increase was accelerating. Quality was going up, this um, slope, right? Quality was going up, slope of this tangent line. And it's not only going up, the slope itself was increasing. Why? You have such initial enthusiasm of inventing this product or you got a new job just now. Initial enthusiasm, okay? So as you learn, as you develop your product, it accelerates. It's getting better and better. Ooh, I'm excited and I'm learning and I'm getting better at it. Oh, it's spitting very high. But at this, uh, this is the inflection point, okay, where, okay, so you 
reach this top speed, okay, it's like kind of marginal quality, I guess. <laughs> marginal means like delta, okay, this per unit concept, okay, so. Yeah, just like in uh, Professor Alfred Marshall's uh, marginal utility theory. It's kind of like that, okay? So it's, it's a sound concept, marginal ut utility. I mean, the way he explained it mathematically was very awkward and very incomplete, imperfect. But the concept itself is, is decent concept. It's like in um, psychology, like, it's not exactly psychology, it's biology, actually, okay? We don't like psychology, all right? Yeah, Pavlov experiment, this habituation. He experiment with a dog, okay? He put a punch hole in a dog's stomach to, and he had this tube to measure the uh, uh, stomach juice level, right? Secretion of stomach juice, Pavlov. I think it's a Russian scientist, biologist. And he ring the bell, beep, 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 ring the bell and would give food and, but he, so yeah, stomach level go up, stomach juice level go up, but as he ring the bell more and more and more, yeah, the dog can't get used to it, so the stomach juice level kind of level levels even, okay? Levels down. So yeah, habituation, okay? Pavlov experiment, right? Yeah, it's, it's biology concept. It's, we don't want to deal with psychology, so. We're not going to even go there, okay? So, all right, so, you have the maximum speed, and from now on, from, from this inflection point on, yeah, I mean, quality still is increasing, but at a slower speed, because you're kind of getting jaded. It's, now it's, this product is getting too easy and getting too old for you. It's like, initially you got a job, and it's a steep learning curve, but you, you're excited, it's something new, brand new job, brand new industry. You're learning a lot, oh, I'm excited, but as time goes on, yeah, your job skill is improving, but you already know too much, it's too easy for you, so it's not challenging enough. So it's kind of a learning curve too, okay? So yeah, that's why we are spending so much time in economics because uh, this principle in economics is kind of like a prototypical, prototypical example, okay? And the principle behind that example applies to so many different things, okay? So yeah, it's, this economics is kind of important in humanology, we just realized, okay? Because it applies to this once we've got the principle down, it apply, we can explain so many different things, okay? In human world, human behavior, or, you know, it kind of smacks like, smacks psychology. We don't want to talk about that, okay? Just human life, okay? How about that? Instead of human behavior. Uh, yeah, human life. What happens in human world? Yeah, we can explain so many things like that. The same principle in this humanological economy, economics, okay? Okay, so we have this uh, per cost. What is cost? Money, time, pain, suffering. Yeah. Labor cost, material cost, time cost, all that stuff, okay? There's a cost. To, pu to make these goods or services, product, okay? Or your music as a product, your painting, your photography, your photograph, whatever, your sculpture, whatever, okay? Product that you sell, that make money, okay? So, yeah, the quality, as you spend more time and time and time, yeah, the quality does go up, but the speed of this product improvement kind of goes down. The speed kind of, it kind of slows down, okay? And suddenly it becomes, it's not increasing at all. No matter how much, how much more time you add 
how much effort you put into this product, it's not the quality doesn't quite go up. And if you put more time, you if you spend more time changing this product, now it starts to go down. Okay. Just like you can be kind and nice and gentle to people, but if you try to be too nice, then you start annoying that person. You are you have a guest, right? Oh hey, yeah, uh, I wanna be very nice to you. No, you know, I wanna be kind and gentle to you. Oh okay, yeah, you're very accommodating. Good, I like that. But if I'm being too nice, overly generous, and overly like attentive, hey, is room temperature okay? Should I uh, adjust the room temperature like one one degree higher or one degree low or zero point zero one degree higher? Are you? Are you optimally comfortable now? Is this room temperature? How about humidity? <laughs> I have a humidifier and also dehumidifier. How is the humidity, humidity level in my house? Is it perfect or is it too dry? Or is it, is it too uh, humid or too dry? Or how about the lighting level? Oh, I have light bulbs. I have 50 white. 50 watts, 70 watts, and 100 watts, 120 watts. You tell me, is this lighting level bothering you? And should I dim it a little bit by changing this light bulb into what 40 watts? Or, or is it okay? I mean, is it too bright or too dark? What, what do you want from me? <laughs> I mean, this. This kind of thing ha maybe happens in a romantic setting, okay? You, if I'm having a, maybe not me because. How about you? Okay, it's okay. Let's say uh, you, you you go out on a date and. You know, it's not anti ultra. It's not ultra interracialistic or immoral kind of matching. You have a good date. That's anti ultra anti ultra interracialistic and also moral. Okay. And you bring the you manage to bring the girl after what fifth date you manage to bring the girl at home and you're a man okay so and then um, yeah maybe you try to be too nice and she get annoyed yeah you know you're bothering me you're annoying me so why don't you shut the fuck up and just sit there okay just just leave me alone otherwise I'm gonna leave ah. Uh, I should have said that in a girl's voice, but I'm kind of tired. I mean, I, I have a full-time job and I went to political meeting and I was there was almost like two hours and now I'm home and I'm doing this again. Okay, so you have to give me a break, okay? So yeah, yeah, yeah. We just explain economics, like business, product filmmaking or photography whatever and even romantic market romance market dating yeah it explains many things okay cost quality cost quality curve okay it's like a mountain okay yeah it's a logistics curve okay s curve the sigmoid function okay what is it it some it kind of looks like this, okay? Wh y is equal to um, I don't want to write in pink. It's actually it's a magenta, okay? But I don't want it to look like pink, okay? So I love orange though. Orange is yummy. I love orange. The fruit itself and also the color. Y is equal to one over one plus e to the minus x. When x go to infinity, yeah, it's one. When x is uh, zero, okay. We gotta we gotta shift this curve. When x is zero, it's uh, one half.
You gotta shift it like maybe one half, I think. What happens when x is one half? X is one half, e to the zero, one, and now it's one half. Good, we got it, okay? So yeah, this is just shifting of this sigmoid function. Sigmoid function, well, originally, it's like this, okay? I hope you can see this. Yeah, you can. Yeah. Point half, uh, point five, okay? Point five and one here, okay? This asymptotic, asymptotic line. The line is approaching. This sigmoid function is approaching. Asymptotic line, okay? Yeah, now we are shifting it uh, about one half, okay? So that when x is one half, e to the zero, one, so it's one half, okay? So yeah, it's like that. Okay. And um this guy doesn't have to be one, by the way. If it is like five, okay, then um this curve will kind of e expand upward because y becomes high, higher, you know. If this guy one on the numerator becomes two, then this is no longer one half. It's actually one here, and here it will be two. Okay? It's just scaling. Okay, it's not that important. It's just constant factor. So we're gonna take a break. All right, and we'll see what else to talk about because um, it's kind of getting late. Okay, so uh. We'll wrap it up pretty soon, all right? Okay. Let's take a break. Mm. Mm.
Okay, I mean, President Trump, he's notorious for giving himself too much credit, right? Uh, <laughs> I mean, uh, it's funny, but uh, I think it's okay. I mean, at least it's funny. It has some entertainment value, I guess, but. Yeah, so I do, we do give him credit for bringing up this immigration, southern border war issue because uh, he, well, his people came up with that and brought it to our attention. And yeah, it's a good point, okay? So we're going to take a break from economics, okay? So we'll talk about politics. So, it's good that he uh, recognized that problem, okay? It's just that he doesn't have a good solution. And he doesn't have intellectual capacity or energy due to his old age, probably. Or because he spent too much energy talking to so-called important people. He just waste all this energy, okay? Always oh, chasing girls, scores, whatever energy he's spending. So yeah, he doesn't have a good solution, okay? And he doesn't have intellectual capacity to logically persuade people or educate people about this problem, okay? So, me, I have tons of time because I have no family, okay? All my energy goes to two things. My job, to pay the bills, to survive, and this. My political ambition and human knowledgeable construction and yeah, that's my life. So I, I don't have any family, okay? So, um, I mean, I have I don't have any wife and kids or anything, so. My family, well, they're in Korea, okay? So I do call them once a week. And, um, but they're all grown, grown or adults. And my nephews, nieces, well, they have their parents, so I, I don't take care of them because they have good parents, so yeah. Do I buy them like gifts? Yeah, yeah, I do. I send them in mail. That doesn't take too much time or energy. <clears throat> so, yeah, uh, the way I would address immigration, southern border crisis is this. Well, first of all, he should not have bring back all those outsourced American manufacturing companies for manufacturing facility. He should not have brought it back to America. Okay, that was a big mistake. Okay, why? Because he is going back in time. Okay, it's, it's not going to work in long time, long term. Okay, why? We as consumers, we want cheap products inexpensive products. If those cars are made in America, it will be more expensive to purchase. Okay, so it just doesn't work that way. Okay, cheap labor of developing countries in South America, they are great resources for us. It's whole point of this comparative advantage model in uh, Ricardo, you know, Richard, Ricardo, yeah, economics. But President Trump doesn't understand economics. Okay, you, we have to have international trade. Cheap labor in third world countries, is uh, they have comparative advantage right there. Okay, we should use it for our advantage. International trade is a good thing. Outsourcing is a fantastic thing. Okay, why? Because we, yeah, oh, USA, USA. Trump, Trump, Trump. Oh, they're so uneducated, all these Republicans. And President Trump, maybe he was kind of smart to take advantage of this uneducated Americans, Republican, okay? Maybe in rural region. So yeah, they got deceived by President Trump, okay? Just like Adolf Hitler deceived Germans, just like uh, Kim Il-sung, 
he's the originator, he's the creator of North Korea, the communist regime, the grandfather of Kim Jong Un, Chairman Kim Jong Un, and his father was Kim. Mr. Kim Jong Un's father was a uh, Kim Jong Il, and Mr. Kim Jong Il's father was Kim Il Sung. Okay, so yeah, the grandfather of current Chairman Kim Jong Un in North Korea. Okay, Kim, Mr. Kim Il Sung, he created North Korea, this communist regime, dictatorial regime, this Kim dynasty in North Korea. Okay, yeah, he deceived North Koreans. That's what happened. Just like Fidel Castro deceived Cubans. Okay, just like President Barack Obama deceived Americans, and pres, just like President Obama deceived Democrats, just like President Trump deceived Republicans and Christians. Okay, they all fell to the victimhood of those politicians, and so was I. Okay, I voted for President Trump. Okay. I mean, yeah, it was less of a terrible war, but I don't like him anymore, okay? I was disillusioned by his poor performance, okay? And his changing of court, he changed. He became a politician, just like any, any other politician. He, nowadays, is no different from any other politician in America. He was, I liked him a lot, that in the beginning when he decided to run for president but he changed okay he became a politician so now i don't support him anymore okay wait. he is he will be my president even if he get reelected in 2020 okay because even if i disagree with him if I, even if i don't like him he got my support because hey country a country should come together right under one leader Okay, you should never try to impeach somebody just because you disagree with that leader. Then it will chaos, anarchy. Okay, that's not democracy. You should respect whether you agree or not. Your fellow citizens vote. That's democracy. Okay. <sighs> Why should I be teaching all this? It's basic. So it's so basic. Elementary, you should be learning this in elementary school, man. <laughs> hmm. The teachers are not, not, not doing their job. Now I have to do their job. <sighs> so, the way I address this immigration thing. Yeah, first, outsourcing is a good thing. Okay, how about American jobs? We, we should create new jobs with new ideas. We should start sharing ideas, okay? Yeah, I have done that. Healthy food, yummy healthy food, manned drones, which is perfectly safe, like a bubble popping when it crashes, okay, just like this land rover or sojourner in Mars. Yeah, bubble wrapping kind of landing, okay? Or oh, they can wear a parachute, I mean, if you do it, they high. Or oh, parachute business. All these uh, high, tall sky, skyscrapers, they should have parachutes for everybody who work in top floor so that they can just jump off of the window and still survive. They should have parachutes. You have parachute business. Every airplane should have as many parachutes as the passengers, number of passengers. So that if airplane have to crash, yeah, let them parachute out. Okay. That kind of stuff. With some parachute equipped with some emergency signal, like GPS device. Yeah, they need that. Airplanes, skyscrapers, they all need that. Okay. Oh, yeah, farming. Farm bears, farm elephants, farm tigers, farm every those exotic animals so that you can start selling their furs or genetically modified animals gma okay yeah make a small tiger a smaller tiger so that you can sell them as pets make teddy bears so that 
these bears don't grow up taller than this size. Yeah, baby bear, teddy bear. That's their adult, brand new species of teddy bear, okay? It will sell like hot cake, pancake. Brand new pets, bear pets. Small bear pets, small tiger pets, small lion pets, whatever. Okay? Yeah, farm this Galapagos elephant. I elephant turtle. So that you farm them, okay? So, and then sell them as pets. Okay? Farm moose, caribou, so that you can sell their meat, lean meat, okay? And you can have this petting zoo, which is also a farm of all these animals. Feeding zoo, too. Let people bring the feeding food, okay, for these animals in the in this farm slash zoo, okay? Yeah, create new jobs, new ideas. How? How do you come up with new ideas? Educate, education. What, what about education? Yeah, universal bar exam. No matter how you study it, you don't have to go back to school, okay? Just take this one exam, then you are licensed for this school subject. Be it mathematics, physics, whatever, okay? And who make those exams? Existing schools, okay? High schools, colleges, community colleges. Yeah, they administer those exams at a fee. I'm not trying to take their job away. No, I'm giving them new jobs, okay? So everybody will study in their own time for free using internet, Wikipedia, YouTube. They can learn for free with some cheap, dirt cheap books, used books, library books. They study for this physics exam, physics bar exam, mathematics bar exam, and they get license for it, okay? It should be done all local level, okay? Yeah, all local colleges, community colleges, universities, high schools, yeah. Administer, administer these exams at a fee so that they they can operate and they make a lot of money, okay? I'm not trying to get rid of schools, no. It's a supplementary system, okay? You wanna go to traditional schooling? Yeah, go ahead and do it, if you have money for it. Okay. You create new jobs. When it comes to this low-level job, labor-intensive jobs, we should outsource that to South America or some other countries so that those people in South America would not have to come to America for, to get a job. So that they stay, stay there in their own countries. Central America, South America, okay? And then, more than that, they will not have to resort to this drug manufacturing, drug trafficking. Why? Because they'll be making cars, they'll be making clothing, shoes. Yeah, they'll be very happy to do so in their own countries if we outsource to them. Okay? So everybody wins. Because Earth, planet Earth, is one ship. Okay? Oh, all these stupid Republicans, there. oh, USA, USA, oh, Trump, Trump, Trump. <sighs> Not so, okay? All this rampant, stupid chauvinism, nationalism of Republicans, they need to change, okay? And Trump is worsening it. He's not making it better. No, he's taking advantage of it. The stupidity of people. What would I do? I would... Educate people. I educate Republicans and Democrats by pointing out where, where they are erring. Okay? America cannot prosper when all the other neighboring countries are suffering. It just doesn't work that way. Why? Border wall, yeah, we need it. I gave you ideas how to make a border war for free. Commercialize it, advertisement space, okay? This 
thousands of miles of long this uh, forest gump trail where uninterrupted running trail, hiking trail, marathon event, international event, the shopping mall strip, restaurant, hotels along this thousands of miles of uninterrupted running trail. Okay? Yeah, there were investors, money is already out there. Yeah, we just need to attract in investors that way. It, will, it won't be just domestic investors, it will be international investors because it will be international tourist destination along these thousands of miles of border wall, okay? Yeah, we can make money off of that, right? And then, um, yeah, so uh, we should outsource to South America and because uh, globe, Planet Earth is one ship. We share the destiny, okay? You, you cannot just make America great, only America great, when all other countries will, are suffering. Why? Because they will start to invade us <laughs> or illegally, illegally migrate to America if only America is doing great. No, it just doesn't work that way. Because Planet Earth is one ship, okay? We have to consider other countries too. Otherwise, they will invade us or illegally migrate to us, to, you, to us, the US, okay? So yeah, outsource the jobs, the labor intensive jobs, because Americans don't want those jobs anyway. So when, if you bring back those labor intensive jobs here in America, guess what will happen? Yeah, those people in South America they will come to us following those labor-intensive jobs, okay? So yeah, President Trump is not solving the problem. No, he's making it worse, okay? He brings the jobs back from South America to back to America. Now, South Americans are following those jobs and they come here, it's a lot worse. Why? Because they don't speak the language. They don't know anybody. Any people here? So they, then what will they will be doing once those South Americans come to America illegally? Some of them will just depend on government or they will just live in on the street, becoming homeless people and they don't speak the language. They don't know anybody here. Many of them will become criminals. Not all of them, but many of them. Okay, so he's making the problem a lot worse by bringing in those jobs from South America, Central America, okay? So, he doesn't know this because, he, first of all, he's not very well educated. Yeah, he went to Wharton, this University of Pennsylvania, MBA. But the only thing he studied for those two years in the MBA program is just real estate, okay? He's not a very intelligent or well-educated person, okay? He's just a white guy, and that's why Republicans love him. And all these Christian Republicans, they voted for him just because he's a white male. <laughs> okay? And also, he doesn't have time to think through, think logically. Why? Oh, he's too busy shaking hands with so-called important people, the CEOs and these kings and senators and congressmen and presidents and foreign ministers and secretaries and the kings and queens and presidents of other countries. It's just too busy shaking hands. And also chasing skirts and taking care of his family. He has no time to think things through. I do. I got no family. I'm not shaking hands with any important people. <laughs> I have all the time to think through, think things through, okay? That's, that's why I'm doing this, all right? And I'm running for president in 2020, okay? So it's up to you, okay? Whether I become the president. The fate of America and the world is not up to me. Because why? Because I'm already doing my part by running for president and by doing this, educating people.
okay the fate of the of america and of the world is up to you american voters because if you vote for me and i if i become the president i will guarantee you america america will be saved and the world will be saved too okay i'll make it all happen all right okay my voice is kind of giving up on me so thank you good night bye god bless you